So my name is Marlene Beekman and I'm allowed to work on bees because I have bee in my name. I'm a professor at the University of Sydney in the School of Life and Environmental Sciences and I love studying bees because it takes me to beautiful places like this. The Wiggle Dance is really what made the bee famous, I think, because it's the, the bees are the only non-human animal that have a language and it really is a language because with this waggle dance, what a returning forager does is she tells her sisters, if you fly in this direction for that long, you will taste something, you'll find something that tastes like this, and then she gives them a sample of the nectar. They also dance for pollen and they dance for nest sites. It's called the waggle dance because when they're waggling, that's why it's called waggle dance, they sort of waggle their bottom. And it looks as if they're really waggling their bottom, but what they're really doing is they, they, they plant their six legs very tightly on the comb, and then they sort of move their backside. And the position in which they do that relative to vertical gives information about the direction in which you need to fly to find that particular food source. The length of the dance tells them something about how far they need to fly. So they have the direction and they have the duration and they have to the smell and then the bees that have decoded the dance, they go out the colony and they hopefully find that food source. And this whole communication system allows the bees to quickly make use of a very profitable food source. And the cool thing about the dance is we can put, or about bees I should say, is we can have the bees in a glass walled observation hive and we can watch them and we can translate the dance and find out exactly what where the bees are foraging by looking at that dance so we can see how 